Welcome to Logic Make Tutorials. Today we are going to discuss about different kind of bots you face for the first time when you develop a website or you're going to develop a website. Also, some of the questions that uh, happen in your mind and will be asked, um, we'd like to discuss it, it today. Question number one, what editor to use uh, for programming? Well, we have different kind of editors out there in the market. For example, like Sublime Text, Komodo Edit, Dreamweaver, and Notepad Plus Plus. There are a lot of many other editors out there. But uh, since I have used these editors, I would like to mention those and I would like to distinguish uh, the di uh, difference between them. Okay, so the Sublime Text, I actually like the interface of Sublime Text. It's quite lightweight and uh, it has a mini map kind of tool and it has a project explorer as well on the side of the, um, as a sidebar you can just drag and drop your folder, project folder and it's going to show the whole uh, directory structure over there and in the left side uh, you're going to uh, see a mini map you can uh, view the minimap uh, on the right sidebar or left sidebar, it's totally up to you to customize it. Bit. Also there is a, a kind of a double wide screen, a side to side uh, explorer kind of view in the sublight text, like if you have to um, open two programming, uh, you know, programs at the same time, you can open it. Also, um, these are the basic things that a uh, sublime text editor have. Also, you can um, select a single word and it's going to select all the, all the same words in the document, current document. Okay, so the next editor is the Komodo Edit or a Komodo IDE. There's a few other differences between those uh, IDE and editor. Um, ID, uh, the Komodo ID has more uh, features in it and advanced options in it. I think for a um, beginner, it is, the Komodo edit is enough. Um, ID basically has uh, some kind of compiler. They can, uh, they can show you syntax errors and all that things. And they can compile your code and uh, prompt you for your errors. Um, you can uh, download Komodo from the website and of course the sublime website uh, we can uh, read here over here and uh, you can download those two, uh, those two editors from the website. Okay, the third uh, editor is Dreamweaver. I like it most because uh, it has um, a server, um, FTP server kind of thing. Because if you have a website on the remote server, you want a FTP server or SFTP server, and you have to download an application for it, and uh, you just drag, drag, the copy, or paste uh, your web files from your computer, from your system, to the server. What Dreamweaver does is that when you uh, save, save a file, you just call the file and save it on your local directory, you can click Control, Shift, and Upload to upload the file to the server. Before that, you have to connect to the server. You just have to give the FTP credentials, for example, password, host name, and username. And once you're connected, you can just click Control, Shift, and Upload to upload your files. You don't have to worry about the folders because if you have a folder like uh, these, and you have files, if you uh, select those files or open those files in Dreamweaver and uh, so, um, save them, they're going to be saved in the same folder as they are. And, and then if you create another folder in it and uh, create a file in that folder locally and then uh, um, you use Dreamweaver to save it and control the upload, upload it, 
and you feel that they'll be created with the same name uh, on the server and your file will be saved in that folder so uh, it's quite time saving the fourth uh, or maybe the last but not least is notepad plus plus I like it very much because it's kind of lightweight and uh, it shows IntelliSense and autocomplete functionality is there. Uh, for example, if you have some function, it'll show you the autocomplete option and it's going to, if, if you press tab or enter, it's going to complete it for you. And uh, kind of lightweight, doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't occupies your memory much and doesn't uh, freezes your computer. Okay, so that's it for now. And let's have question number three. The question number three is uh, actually a bug that uh, usually happens when a new uh, beginner uh, tries to have it develops a website. It's a regarding XAM. Actually, uh, what XAM does is uh, it has different services like Apache and uh, uh, MySQL service and they get busy uh, sometimes when you have other application that blocks the port uh, the, these services you are using. So, um, the first culprit is the Skype. Those who are using Skype should know that sh Skype blocks uh, these services. You can um, avoid this uh, blockage by going to Tools and Options and, and then to Connection Options. There you're going to see a Connection Option or Connection Type where you have a chat box that says uh, use uh, this blah 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 port and uh, this thing you you must know that this chat this box must be unchecked and you have to save the settings and then restart the skype and your zen server will start working